When your pet needs urgent care, you need animal emergency care. Staffed with caring veterinary professionals with a state-of-the-art facility. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for emergencies only. Animal Emergency Care in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. It's a cafe this morning, Dave <laughs> Allen and Patrice, 836, and it's Cafe Critters time. Do that sound you're making, Patrice. It's a... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, wow. Sounds like a uh, duck call. Uh, 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 so th- this okay. is for the dog that's in the studio <laughs> right now. When you try and get a picture, you just do that. You like hold your fist up to your mouth and then. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Look at wow. Daria's looking at me. She's like, what is that? So does this particular dog respond to only that? Or? No, I don't. I mean, maybe she, she likes it. Uh, uh, uh. You get her ears to perk up when you do it. Well, it makes my ears perk up and wonder what the heck happened the night before. It's a good fun noise. It really kind of yeah. is, yeah. So, okay, before we get to this dog who is a very cool dog, I love this dog already. We were just talking about Pete See? Davidson and his whole battle with PETA because they criticized him for buying a dog instead of adopting a dog. And he said he needed a certain kind of dog because he has allergies. So only a certain kind of dog would do, and that's why he bought one. Is that a real thing that some dogs are better for people with allergies than others, and it's harder to adopt? Well, let's put it this way. Was anyone <laughs> was anyone talking about Pete Davidson uh, or PETA, for that matter, before two days ago? Well, just, that, just saying. Well, in unfortunately, I, I see what you're trying to do there, but Pete Davidson gets a lot of press, and we were wondering why. Right. Okay. We right. really, truly are, yes. So... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to rig. Thank you, Patrice. You're so, welcome. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't shop. Exactly. Those kinds of situations is is that a legitimate? Uh... There, every every dog has dander. There are yeah. some dogs that have less dander than others, but there is no real such thing as totally hypoallergenic dog. There are some breeds that shed less than others. Every dog needs a home, regardless of where they come from. We always say adopt, don't shop, but. People do what they're going to do as long as they are permanent, responsible, loving pet owners. Fantastic. If More I power come, to them. If I were to come to you and say, I really need a specific kind of dog, can you keep your eyes out for that? Can you do that? We we don't have the resources necessarily to totally do that, but there is a great website called PetFinder.com. You can go in there. You can type in your zip code. You can type in what kind of breed of animal you're looking for, and it will link you to shelters and rescue groups all over the country. Perfect. So you can do your search for for whatever specifically you're looking for. I have a question. Should we be on Team PETA or no? Half the time it seems like you do a lot of crazy stuff, and you seem so even keel, and, and you seem to do things the right way. All right, where are you at? Good, bad, indifferent with PETA? Um, I think you put it perfectly, Alan. They do a lot of really good things, just like any organization. Sometimes they go off the rails a little bit, in my opinion, but I do respect um, the work that they do. And I think that especially in areas of things like animal research and farm animal protection, I think they do a lot of really good things. In other news, President Biden would like to appoint you to be a diplomat. (laughs) I'm on my game this morning. Ask me in 10 minutes. I'll probably have a much different answer. So you brought us a pretty pity today. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, Patrice, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about um, dog playgroups at the Whatcom Humane Society and our Dogs Playing for Life program. Well, we've even upped our game a little bit more. So thanks to a dog trainer named Carrie Mitchell, who works at Tails of Wagon, we have started doing canine good citizen training with the shelter dogs every friday afternoon our amazing volunteers are working on actually training the shelter dogs to become canine good citizens oh this is our star pupil here her name is daria she's three years old she's an all black female pit bull lab something 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 Mm -hmm. she's about 50 pounds of pure energy she is delightful. So she is not only our hall monitor in daily playgroup. Oh. She makes sure that everybody's getting along. Uh-huh. She's like the nice girl in school who would go sit at the table with the person eating oh. a lunch alone and help them. But I think she just wants to eat their lunch. She <laughs> might want to do that too, but she'd do it politely. Okay, All right. And in canine good citizen training, she has learned how to sit. She's learned how to lay down. She comes when she's called. She walks politely on a leash. She is still a little bit of a rude greeter. So oh. that's what we're still working okay. on. But she is the most delightful dog. And she's been with us about four months and she's just getting <laughs> overlooked. No one is looking at her. 
And she, oh. She's a rude greeter in that she likes to maybe jump up and say hello. Is that she does? And she pulls a little bit just because she's so excited. But uh-huh. boy, she's gentle. She takes treats so gently. She rode perfect in the car. And she's one of those dogs for a variety of reasons. Just everybody just passes her kennel by. Mm. And it's so sad because it she's is. great. She's a really cool dog. She'd make a wonderful family companion. She'd do great in a home with another dog. Mm-hmm. And like I said, in daily play group, she's the dog who. It's like, is everybody getting along? Aww. Oh, no one's playing with you? I'll come play Aww. with you. I mean, she's just the best. Mm. You should have named the dog Patrice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't it play is well an, with others. <laughs> it is an honor to have a shelter dog named after you. Oh. So, okay. oh. so, so she's how old? She's about three and a half. And she's a pit bull mix? She's a pit bull mix, yeah. she's that. Her head looks like a little pit bull. Her mm-hmm. body looks like a black lab. She's got little white toes. Don't know where those came from. She's And she arrived to us as a stray, so we don't know anything about her history except that she's adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she is really cute. Yeah, real quick before we uh, let you go here, I want to know more about uh, living with a fearful dog. You got this program coming up on June 25th. What's that all about? Oh, it's just one of our mini workshops, Alan. So if you have a dog that's a little bit fearful, that lacks socialization, you can come to that workshop or any of the others that we have going on, learn how to help. And of course, those workshops are always free. So that's a win-win for everybody. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Laura Clark from the Walking Humane Society with Daria available for adoption now, along with all sorts of other critters. Absolutely. Go to walkinghumane.org to learn more.